Welcome to Sweden. We have traveled to the city of Elfsbund for the 2017 FIM Snowcross World Championship and Women's Snowcross World Cup. Elfsbund is a wide paradise with its beautiful landscape, high mountains, deep forests and rivers. You can marvel at the northern lights, go fishing, ice climbing or go on snowmobile safari here. And it's one of the smallest cities in Swedish Lapland, but it features some of its most magnificent nature. World Championship is back after last being held here in 2015. Last year, Reinheim siblings Adam and Marika won World Championship titles. We'll see if they will be able to keep them in the family after this weekend. We're expecting for a strong competition from a fellow riders looking for a challenge. Let's go for an adventure. with Elena Ackman and Victor Hurt for the track preview. Let's take a look. It's a short start straight here in Owlsbin, turning right almost immediately into a series of five dragon back waves. Swinging through the next right hander and then into the next straight over a slight crest, doubling down through the dip over a single and then up the other side jumping again into more waves seven more this time continuing through the corner and as it opens up a short burst of speed but you can see already the track starting to wave out before stepping down into a 180 left expect it to get pretty choppy through there as the weekend goes on more waves as they crest that hill into the next right hander pretty flat at the moment but snow cross tracks never stay flat for long. Continuing through the right, hit the finish line jump there. And as we continue round, we hit the final big jump on the circuit. And we head back down the start straight. Hi, I'm Marika Reneim and I'm last year's World Cup winner. I'm, I guess this is my last day as a defending champion. This weekend I'm here to share on my brother and little sister, because I hurt early on this season. I only did two races and then I dislocated my wrist. So I've been out for the whole, yeah, the rest of the season. A little different to sit here today, but I'm glad that I'm able to be here and to share on the rest of the family. So I hope they do a really good weekend. start um, I had lots of the practice both on my snowmobile and with a personal trainer and uh, it felt great 
I drove my first race, didn't go as well as I wanted it to. I broke my collarbone and some ribs in my chest and it was a really tough start. It's my fifth time at the snowmobile after the crash, so we'll see what happens, but it feels great. My name is Lena Oman. Uh, I'm here from Alspin. I'm 23 years old and I'm riding up Larry's. My preparation this year has been really good. I have been trained hard. I've been in the US this whole season and it's been really good and I'm ready for the World Championship. To ride in my hometown is definitely special, yeah. I can't wait to go out there. My name is Ron Yarianheim. I'm competing here today at the World Championship. I drive a Skidoo with number 311. I have had a real good season so far, so I'm really excited to be here this weekend. I really hope for a good podium. And with us, we also have our sister Marika. She's not uh, driving anymore, but she is a really good support and a coach to both of us right now. So I guess we are really a snowcross family. My name is Matilda Norberg. How I prepared for this race? I've been racing all winter. Not a weekend at home. Training at the track, exercising at the gym, preparing my snowmobile, keeping it fit. I just want to have like a good time to have some flow in my riding, to feel secure, I think. <laughs>
at home as well. And the gold plate presentation to Elena Oman, the World Cup winner. Elena, congratulations. You have World Championship title back after 2015. How does it feel? It feels really good. It was fun to be here again and take the win. My name is Adam Rinheim, the defending FIM world champion. We are here today in uh, Elspin for the first and only round of the 2017 FIM world championship. So it will be interesting. I had a long uh, season in US. It's uh, been uh, good. Uh, ended up second in the Winter X Games and uh, some other nice finish. So, uh, so yeah. Feel, feeling good for today. My name is Adam Oman. I'm riding from Team Polaris Sweden. And yeah, it, it feels special to ride at home and close to family and friends. And lot, lot, they are coming and watch. So uh, it's a special feeling for sure. My name is Nisse Schellström. I'm 21 years old from uh, Sweden. I'm excited and uh, hopefully I'm uh, going to make some better results uh, this year. Uh, but everything can happen and the racing are racing and it's uh, every all the other competitors are so good and uh, I'm going to do my best and uh, we will see what happens. Yeah. Last year I was second in World Championship and uh, this year I'm trying to make it better in first place. My preparation have uh, went well. I've been in the USA this season and I won the championship so, so I have a long season uh, so far and uh, try to do my best. My name is uh, Elias Sisur, I'm from Norway. Uh, I've been racing in the US now for three years and been racing for Warnet Racing, Skidoo. And uh, I have been, uh, I would get back home uh, last week, so I raced last week and uh, get up here to Alpspin now and uh, feeling ready for the World Championship and uh, see what I can do. I'm feeling ready. Nisa Schellström set the fastest time in qualifying and goes to the line on pole. Aki Pilacher was second and defending champion Adam Renheim was third. Petter Nasser and Ilias Isuel rounded out the top five. World Championship final one then for the men on board here with Yuso Luko and charging down into the first turn. Who is it that grabs the whole shot? Well, it looks like the number one of Adam Renheim. And it is on that yellow ski. Behind him, Ilias Isuel and Aki Pilaka giving chase as everybody else starts to spread out. But in the early stages of the race, Isuel tried to challenge Renheim for the lead, but Renheim opened up a gap in front of Isuel. And eventually, Pilaka there, number two in third. Pilaka closed in on Isuel. Oscar Morum, fourth, and Petter on the 54. He was in fifth. And just off the back here, 
Victor Herten, the number four in sixth place. Renheim though, in confident mood, as you would expect for the defending champion. Ishuel in that second place, started to uh, fall into the clutches of Pilaka. He was in danger of losing that second position in what was a very, very intense battle between those two guys. Deep, bumpy conditions here, but Renheim, number one, making it look very, very easy as he streaked clear ahead of his rivals. In the closing stages of the race, Pilaka eventually found his way past Ishuel to get himself into second, but it was the defending champion, Adam Renheim, who won race one. Pilaka was second, Ishuel was third. Race one result then finished like this. Renheim, Pilaka, Ishuel with Victor Hurton fourth and Norum in fifth. So far, so good for Adam Renheim as he looks for a successful defence of his world crown picked up last year. Race two, the decider on board here with Christopher Home on the 610 machine, charging down into that right-hander. And number one, Adam Renheim looks to have grabbed another whole shot here. Indeed he has as he comes out of that first turn into those series of waves. On board here with Home as Shellstrom and John Sternberg almost crash in front of him. So pretty lucky there. Renheim though, Pilaka, Ishuel, Marcus Ogemar and Sternberg. They're your top five on the opening lap in race two. Track at its roughest as Renheim, number one, starting to pull clear once more. Pilaka is in second and in contention for the lead, but Ishuel is third. Marcus Ogemar still there in fourth. Stenberg is in fifth. A little bit further back, though, John Lidman battling with Kjellstrup. On board here with Christopher Holm clashing with Petter Nasa and tipping over his sled. Well, that'll have consequences for him, losing a lot of time. Lidman eventually found his way down the inside of Shellstrom for fifth. When what was a very aggressive move, but Adam Renheim, what a dominant display from the defending champion here this weekend. An intense battle for third, though, between Ishuel on the 200 and Stenberg on the 259. Had the crowd on their feet until Stenberg crashed. Not what he would have wanted, but Renheim just staying out of trouble with a faultless display of riding. The polar opposite to Stenberg, who would not finish the race. Akipila Cup got into second. Ishuel on the 200 eventually faded to fifth. But it was a double moto win for Renheim, who keeps his title for one more year. With his overall victory here in 2017. No wonder he's celebrating. The number one stays on the front of his ski do for another year. Renheim, your overall winner. Bielak at second and Lidman third in the second final. And the overall championship belongs to Renheim with a perfect score here in Alspin. Bielak a second, issue of third. Well, the crowd certainly enjoyed the action here this weekend. But no one more than this fella here, Adam Renheim, your overall winner. Two wins out of two. Aki Pilaka, second overall. And Ilias Ishuel coming home third. Despite the snowy conditions, what else would you expect in Sweden? But Patricia Maskarova handing the 2017 World Snowcross Champion, his gold plates. Adam Renai, your world champion.
You're with Bolt Champion 2017. How does it feel? How was your day? Uh, it was a really good uh, day. I couldn't ask for more. I was good in practice, took both hole shots and uh, yeah, won uh, the two finals. So it was a really good day. How was the race? Was the trip difficult? At first, yeah, it was pretty difficult, but I had a super good setup with my shocks and the sled were, were good, so uh, it was challenging, but uh, I think we had everything covered. <laughs> Thank you. 2017 Snowcross World Championship is over. See you next year, guys. Bye.